Hello everybody, this is Emma Void here with another new Let's Play. This week we're starting up on Signs of the Sojourner, which is a neat little game I've heard a little bit about. Uh, it was one of the games in the itch.io uh, Palestine bundle. So you might already have it, and just not know about it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a game about conversation and stuff, and I always like games like that. Reminds me a little, a little bit of, um, oh, what was that one game? Last Word, that was it. Reminds me a lot of Last Word. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and give it a shot, shall we? Childhood spat. The worst fight you and Elias ever had was over a strange locket in Mom's desk. Curiosity got the best of you, but Elias was afraid of getting in trouble. Hmm. Your mom has collected so much cool stuff in here. How many towns has she visited now? Huh. So yeah. It's a game about conversations, but you play it with cards. Drag and drop cards to the placemat to play them. Simple enough. What is this? Circle is empathetic and observant. Triangle is logical and diplomatic. You just gotta match them up. Cleaning a sequence earns a dot, a white dot. Mismatch earns a black dot. When all white or black dots have been earned, conversation will end. Click on speech bubbles to view previous dialogue. Let's play Caravaneers, just like her. You be the driver, I'll be the navigator. Hmm. Wait, hang on. You shouldn't look in her desk. She's gonna be mad. Is that a locket? I've never seen your mom wear a locket. Hmm. Oh no! Hey, you're not listening. We shouldn't be snooping. Oh no! I don't... Okay. Um, oh no, we have no way to match this one up. Why do you always drag me into stuff like this? Put it back before we get caught. That fight could have only ended how it did. You and Elias were too stubborn. Sometimes, Mom said, some stances deserve defense. But that time, she stepped in to mediate. You two, what are you doing in here? I'll need to leave soon. The caravan's almost here. Come say goodbye. What are you even fighting about? Hmm. Alright, so... Accord? Created when you and the other person each play one card, together connecting four of the same symbol in a row. Protects your progress when a mismatch is made. Interesting. It's okay to not always understand each other. One miscommunication doesn't have to end a friendship. Let me help you figure this out. Aw, Mom was really cool. If you get a little lost, think about how he's reacted in the past, how you've been able to connect and get past your differences. Hmm. Alright, well, right now we don't have any choices. There we go. Not all disagreements have to be the end of your friendship. 
Listen to each other. See if you can find common ground. Mom steps in. You'd think back on that fight years later after Mom passed on, when you and Elias had to rely on each other all the more. Oh. Fifteen years later. Ah, mood. Farewells. It's your first time back inside Mom's old store since the funeral. All told, she didn't leave much. She was always on the road, and what she brought back sold fast. Elias runs his hand down an empty shelf before clearing his throat. You feel it too, don't you? The, uh, weirdness of being in here without your mom. Can't seem to wrap my head around her being gone. My bad. Now I'm the one making things weird. Ooh. Accommodate. Duplicates both symbols of the previous card. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, we don't have any Accommodate cards, but that's okay. Yeah, you're right. She wouldn't want us to dwell. I gotta cheer up. After all, she always looked so pleased when she was here. Making people smile, giving them samples of cool new stuff, even if they were broke. I think it might just have been her favorite place. She'd be so happy to see the two of us taking over the store like this. You out there on the open road, and me, uh, keeping an eye on things here, which is totally just as exciting. Uh-huh, sure. <laughs> Not that I mind, of course. Being stuck out there in the caravan would drive me crazy. Real quick. View your calendar, inventory cards, character profiles, and settings. Hmm. Huh. Best friend a person could ask for. Aww. Currently on Barto. Oh. Conversations. Oh, there's the caravan now, right on schedule. The leader, Nadine, runs a tight ship, but I don't trust her. I hear she's planning to drop the town from the caravan route. That'd be real bad for Barto. Hey, while you're out there, maybe you can change your mind. Hmm, mayhaps we could. Uh... Okay, once again, we've only got one option. No matter what, you're gonna do great. I bet you'll come back with a bunch of cool stuff. You packed everything you need, right? Socks? If the truck breaks down out there and you don't have socks, it's all over. Don't worry about this place. It's in good hands. Take care of yourself out there. Farewells. You'll miss Elias, too, and wish you didn't have to leave so soon. You've planned this trip for a while, but it only started to feel real in the last few hours. The store needs three more products. And... Ah! Choose a card from your experience to gain, and a card from your past to forget. Let's definitely take that Accommodate card. And, uh... Drop one of... Well... No. Let's drop one of the... Circle and Circle cards. Hmm. 
All right. Home. Bartow. Quiet enough to hear the grasshopper grasshoppers rub their wings together at dawn and the crickets at dusk. You know the name, nickname, and favorite color of every person in town. It's past time to leave for a spell. Elise is working a shift at the roadhouse. And Nadine, resolute leader of the caravan. All right. Follow close. Almost a dozen vehicles sputter down Bartow's dirt roads. Their engines once signal signaled Mom's imminent departure, as well as her return. Nadine, sitting on the running board of her truck cab, gestures for your attention. I trust you have sufficient provisions for the route. Our first stop will be... Pachenko? Pachenko, the artist colony. Hmm. Nadine mentioned a place for Mom's stories. Be alert. Reptiles cross Thunder Lizard Road to their heart's content. You don't want guts on your windshield. Nadine told me about the road from home to Pachenko. Alright, conversation time. My condolences for your loss. Your mom and I had our differences, but I respected her all the same. Before the caravan heads out, we need to talk. Hmm. So she started out empathetic. Unless you turn this store around and keep it well stocked, the caravan will have to drop Barto from the route. I get the feeling that she might be headed towards the logical stuff. Mm. But on the other hand, I can at least get that buffer going a little further. Yeah, awesome. Without the store in good shape, it doesn't make sense for the caravan to stop here. Awful waste of resources. I probably don't have to spell it out that this would be bad for Barto. I know you all depend on the traffic. It's not my choice. Not entirely. I make the final call, but I'm beholden to the caravan members and their needs. Believe it or not, Barto would be dropped already if I didn't know your mom a favor. I argued on your behalf. Hmm... Alright, now we gotta go for... There we go. It might not sound like a kid, but I'm in your corner. My hands are tied with this. I want to see you succeed. Nothing about this situation is good, but Nadine probably isn't to blame. We thank her for the info. we got. I've only got one logical and then empathetic. So another one of that might actually be helpful. Let's swap that for one of our empathetic empathetics. Alright. And we've got some more info. Oh, trips remaining. Five. Okay, so having these bits of info doesn't actually tell us anything yet, but I imagine it might be useful in the future. Alright, guess it's time to move on. Hmm. Ah, 
Here we go. Thriving arts community on the high plateau. Caravan's first stop on the route. Yeah. Pachenko. Twisty canyon roads leading to Pachenko would send a green traveler in circles. Rundown vehicle has trouble with its last slope up to the plateau, but Nadine leaves no one behind. Tomas, a painter with the disposition of a small nervous calf. <laughs> And Nadine's currently admiring some of the public art. Let's talk with... Mm. Hmm. Let's talk with Nadine first and see if she's got any advice for us. Nadine contemplates a cast bronze sculpture of a frill-necked lizard whose head has been replaced with a man's vacant features. She rubs her chin for a while, chewing on some thoughts. Huh. Neat. You handle those steep hills and inclines well. The caravan's next stop will be Clifton, the market town. Alright. The road we take is prone to landslides. Ride close. If you can't see your truck, I can't protect you. Alright. Your mom. She had a lot of history here in Pachenko. Many friends, I believe. She always loved the licorice. Hmm. Licorice, huh? You admire the sculpture with Nadine in companionable silence for a moment, imagining how mom must have found herself in an identical situation many, many times over the years. Alright. And, uh... We'll just swap one for one we've already got. Alright. Tomas. The artist's stall. Tomas sits demurely, surrounded by paintings that depict fruit, trees, and, most prolifically, a calico cat rendered in the finest detail. Each portrait is signed with an illegible flourish, different each time. Let the crowds fade as you inhabit the... Um... The lacunae inside each piece. I'll be quiet as you converse with the art. I hope you like it. Oh, I need to provide a statement. <laughs> oh. oh, that's new. Clarify can be inserted between any valid match or played normally. Interesting. I like it. Ah, oh, all right. Well, um, that piece is called self-portrait number five. I felt such an affinity with the tree depicted. It's a good tree. How does it make you feel when you stare at the branches? Hmm. Hmm. That was not my intention at all, but at least it elicited a reaction from you. I'll probably throw that piece in the trash. Aw! Tomas, no! Alright, so let's see. Hey, there you go. Nice. Oh, you like that one. Let me wrap that for you. Safe and secure on your travels. My first sale this month. I'm having my first art show next month. You could come if you like. Aww. Every compliment on Tomas's artwork is a drop in a bottomless bucket. <laughs> Who knows if you've done anything for your self-esteem, but the painting is nice. Colors are astounding. Nice. 
Yes, I want to just clarify. Alright. Guess that means it's time to move on. Next stop, Clifton. Canyon Town has some incredible views of the long expanse. We've got two new folks to meet here. Fatigue. Gain fatigue over time as you travel. Returning home and unpacking your items will remove it. Cannot match with any symbols. Oof. Which means that it's decent to... If I need to get rid of it, to use that on a uh, on a blocker. All right, good to know. Klaus and Ramir. Every turn down the streets of Clifton seems to reveal another mountain in the distance, another horizon. Nadine doesn't stop for sightseers, though. You watch for pedestrians as the caravan rolls downtown. Let's see. Ramir, a man from the caravan, looks familiar. And Klaus, she's watching travelers walk past. Alright. Oh, let's go with Ramir first. You know his name. Ramir. He grew up in Bartow. Traveled with the caravan. Turned from neighbor to visitor. He's sitting off the hood of a car the same way he used to sit off his porch way back in the day. First time with the caravan, ain't it? Hope your mom taught you the ropes. It's not easy out here. I remember my first time. Pachenko, Clifton, Bukumboro. Whirlwind of new experiences. Aha! Just keep your cool. The road to Bukumboro sheds a lot of tires. Don't panic if it all goes to hell. Alright. Um. Pfft. Thanks. Thanks, Deck. I appreciate it. Just listen for a moment. I'm trying to impart some words of wisdom to you here. You won't get anywhere out here if you don't learn how to listen. I'm trying. Okay. This we can... Wait, what? No! Oh, because... It messes up the match on both ends. Fuck. <laughs> oh well, now I know. I was trying to help you out. Never mind. I'm sorry, Ramir. Whatever response Ramir wanted out of you, he didn't get it. He'll just have to get over it. Oh well. Alright. Kraus. Snack peddler. Vendors in Clifton compete to make the grandest promises delivered with the loudest, most tenacious voice. For every woe, there's a product that can fix it. Klaus, on the other hand, is quiet, barely audible beneath the crowds. Huh. You must be with that caravan. Hello to you, traveler. Safety in numbers, is that it? <laughs> Very wise. I'm a hum humble peddler of roasted nuts. Don't you enjoy those, traveler? Who does not? Life's simple pleasures. Alright, let's see. Start off with an accommodate. Nice, nice. But don't tell anyone. If everyone knew I sell roasted nuts, they'd buy them up. None left for you. We can share a secret, can't we? You and I. Just a little information, a mere factoid, kept safe between us. I'm wondering if what she sells is actually nuts. 
And perhaps you might even trust me with your own secrets. You know so much about me, and I so little about you. Scandalous. Hmm. Huh. Sounds like that might actually be what business she's in. If someone inquires after these roasted nuts, simply laugh, smile, and toss a delicious handful into your mouth. <laughs> Klaus's disorienting sales pitch almost makes the roasted nuts sound like some odd metaphor until she physically <laughs> hits you a bundle of them. Oh, no, I, I guess she does sell nuts. Okay, sure. be nice to have a double logic card. So let's swap one of these for that. Alright, time to move on. Off to Bukumboro now. Dusty old stop left behind when the railroad broke down. Caravan's third stop on the route. Here we go. Bukumboro. A red-tailed hawk perches on the dormant railroad tracks above Bukumboro, gulping down a lizard. The few vendors in town wait outside their stores, windows cleaned and sidewalks swept. They count on the caravan's arrival. Hmm. Matilda, grinding leaves in a mortar. And Nadine, enjoying a bowl of matcha. Hmm. Let's talk with Nadine first. At a small table outside a store, Nadine whisks matcha in a tea bowl. Her motions are precise. Not a single drop spills. Your presence feels intrusive, like you've interrupted some personal ritual. Still here. Your final stop in the route will be Aldhurst. Some call it scenic. I don't care for it. The road's in poor condition, more than most. Many travelers bypass Bukumboro, but I enjoy their matcha. Matcha, huh? Alright. This place, Bukumboro, reminds me of Bartow. Do you find that to be an accurate assessment? You leave Nadine to sip her drink in peace. Alright, that's a nice little convo. Do we want to swap in another logical and diplomatic? Hmm. Let's see. We've got one logical and diplomatic, two plain empathetic and observance. One empathetic and observance with clarifying in it. Two green then orange. Two orange then green. And then the accommodate. Yeah, I think that having just the one logical, double logical should be good. Hey, Matilda. Matilda's business resides in a low, earth-colored house, the first floor converted into a storefront. Barrels line the walls, filled with fresh tea leaves whose scents compete for your attention. Huh. Hey, we got a lucky duck over here. I just about sold out of my world-famous matcha. I grind the tea leaves up myself. It takes so long. But it's soothing, not tedious. Kind of like meditation. Alright. Ooh. 
That's new. Logical and diplomatic or empathetic and observant. Interesting. So, if I use an accommodate card on it then... That'll work, right? Yeah! Reconsider. Redraws your hand when played. Ooh, that sounds cool too. Oh, but it's still got symbols. The sim symbols still gotta match up with whatever you're talking about. Interesting. I source the tea leaves from out near Althurst. Not enough shade around here. The sun's too brutal. You ever been out that way? I swear, they won the climate lottery. But the sea lead them first, so... That's just how it goes, huh? Pick up and move wherever's still habitable. Who knows when the groundwater will run out here. Hmm... What happens if I try to use this? Oh yeah, it can be played normally. That's right. Uh, do I want to go with that? Do I want to... That's why I meditate. <laughs> Only peace I get from watching the world die around me. So, Matcha, come see me again and maybe I'll read your fortune, if you're lucky. Matilda's Matcha smells incredible. You're lucky to have gotten some. Cool. And Matilda promised to read our fortune. Famous Matcha, hand ground in Bukumboro. So I can get that reconsider card. Or I can get that either or card. That's really cool. Oof. Uh. Oof. Uh. I'm gonna go with this one. And swap it out for one of these. Alright. Bukumboro, all the way to Althurst. Last stop on the caravan route. Scenic town known for its comfortable climate. Oof. Oh, this place looks pretty. Central Plaza bustles with families out enjoying the weather. Weavers and rug makers in, the, in their open air workshops. And old folks, and old folks playing Cravar in the shade. Barto only gets a couple days a year this mild. Aurora, hawkish owner of magnetic music. And that's a new symbol. Creative and industrious. Interesting. Nadine. Whistle is for us to come over. Yeah, sure. Hey, Nadine, what's up? Loading up her vehicle with pots of kimchi, she whistles for your attention. It's hard to tell if the condescension is intentional or not. And so you made it. Caravan splits here. I don't take greenhorns out towards Old Murray. Too dangerous for your, ma for your maiden voyage. Old Murray, huh? If you take the direct road back from here, you'll be fine. It's mostly downhill that direction. Scenic route, too. Oof, jeez, two fatigue cards at once. Thanks, game. No! Freak. Okay, so putting down a fatigue card is, like, flat out never a good idea. Because it means that we'll get the penalty on both ends. Alright. 
<laughs> it takes a lot to build trust with me. My actions speak louder than words, you know. I haven't kept the caravan going strong all these years by being soft. No, don't you mismatch it too! Gotta be more careful out here. I'm sorry! Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, accommodate's no good there, but... Speaking of liabilities, have you seen Ramir? Lost around Clifton. Hope he's not getting into too much trouble. Oh dear. That's not a good sign. Listen, out of respect for your mom, I'm gonna tell you something I probably shouldn't. Ever heard of the Rilkers? They're practically royalty in Old Moray, and got ties all over the place. Their word's law, and they've threatened to shut the caravan out of Old Moray if I don't drop Bartow from the route. Now, I'm not one to bend so easily, but it does make things more complicated. Your store really needs to shine for the caravan to stand up to them. I mean, yeah, I'll... Frickin'... Frickin'! Dang it! Arr! Don't play that card! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I've got the clarify card. I'm good. Yes! Oh, that was close. <laughs> Why this is happening now, I can't say. Could be your mom had some dirt on the Rilkers. Word is she had some run-ins with them in the past, and by all accounts, they're the type to hold grudges. Well, that sucks. The timing could be better, but it's important to understand. Your mom, she was a complex woman. She had lots of opinions and made a habit of making waves wherever she went. Not the easiest person to travel with. You follow this caravan's path, same one your mom took, and you're bound to learn some things about her. Some good, some not so much. Okay, alright. Accommodate. Oof, okay. Lucked out. <laughs> As for you and me, I don't believe kids always take after the parents. That'd be unfair. So, don't start trouble and there won't be none. I run this caravan so no one else has to, and I like it, a, I like to, I like it run a certain way. Safe. Oof. You're grateful to Nadine for telling you for the, whole, the whole story, even if you're not sure what to do with the info. I'm definitely glad we know. Swap any of these? Yeah, I think we've got a pretty good setup as it is. All right, this should be interesting. Luthier Lessons. The wooden door leading into Aurora's music store sticks in, a, sticks in the frame. A helpful sign hangs in the window. Give it a push. As you enter, Aurora looks up from the guitar saddle she's filing down to give you a quizzical once-over. Let me know if you have questions about the merchandise. I'm Aurora, founder and sole owner. If you play any instruments, please take off that jacket. All those buttons and zippers scratch them to pieces. Hmm. Alright. So yeah, I don't expect that she'll have any logical and diplomatic...
I never played ukulele. I teach claw hammer, so called because you make your hand like a claw. Hold it like so. Stiffen that strumming finger. Makes a nice sound, doesn't it? There's your first lesson. I've gotta ask. Have we met before? You look so familiar. Hmm. Might be confusing you for one of my old students. You don't play guitar, do you? No, but I imagine that Mom probably did. Oof. Alright, well, we're out of luck on that one. Nice. You should take this ukulele with you. You've bonded with it, I can tell. Practice that claw hammer. Aurora carefully packs up the instrument, making you promise not to store it in a human location. <laughs> Makes sense. Ooh. Creative and industrious. Oh. Like, I don't know how often, if ever, it'll be useful, but I really want it anyway. Yeah, let's swap it for one of our double empathetics. Alright. Ah. Folks in nearby towns may be able to tell you how to get here. Oh, I see. So, basically learning about the town tells us where it is. Learning about the road to the town tells us how to actually get there. Makes sense. Bartow, home to the best bodega in the region. I'll need to get back for the for the reopening, but not before I stock up on items with the caravan. Yeah, we got that. Are you sure you want to return home? Just end your current trip and you won't be able to leave again until after you unpack your items. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Oh. Resting on the roof of your truck one evening, you browse through some of Mom's old notes. Recall her stories about the road. Mom used to reminisce about her childhood by the coast. Thinking of her, you feel some of your fatigue melt away. Aww. That's nice. Coming home to... oh, stranger. Huh. Coming home to Bartow after time away feels strange, like someone's rearranged your bedroom while you slept. All the same pieces are still here, mostly, but what's different and what's misremembered, there's no telling. Huh. Stranger, huh? Well, first off, let's go talk with Elias. Best friends forever, you always said. You find Elias at home, sitting on the floor, surrounded by craft materials. Glue, markers, cardstock, thin polystyrene sheets. He looks exhausted. Hey, hey! Look who made it back in one piece! While you were gone, I made something you can stock in the store. Bartow key rings. People love souvenirs. Looks like you got plenty of stuff for the store already, but these will be popular. They'll make good mementos to keep traveler help travelers remember Bartow. You don't owe me this time. <laughs> Unless they're really popular. Oh, you won't believe what else I found while you were gone. Check it out. Your mom's old locket. Ah. Alright. So what do we got? Aw. Sorry, I'm just tired from making all these key rings. Shoot. Alright, 
Well, at the very least, we can stick in and duplicate. Get us a barrier to go off of. Don't worry, I won't get upset with you for taking it this time. In fact, I think you should. Good luck charm of your own. You might need it out on the road. Anyway, how was the caravan? Did Nadine say anything else about Bartow or your mom? You didn't have to break the news to anyone, did you? I bet rumors probably spread fast on the road. Hmm... Oh no. Nuts. I don't think he's gonna have anything to match up with that creative and industrious, but I don't have any other options. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier to see me again. Oh, I'm sorry. Oof. Yeah, good thing. You managed to get Nadine to tell you more? That's impressive. You're a natural. I wonder what the real girls have got to do with your mom. They've got ties all over the place from what I hear. No wonder they're able to pressure the caravan. Gotta say, Nadine kind of intimidates me, but maybe there's more to her than meets the eye. Yeah, she seemed alright. Uh, what do you want to go with? Let's see... Yeah. I guess you have to be tough to make it out there on the road. Kinda like your mom was. Sounds like they butted heads. I'm still not sure I trust Nadine. Rilkers are no Rilkers. It'd be real bad for lots of good people if the caravan stopped coming here. We gotta keep the store doing well so there's no excuse for them to drop Bartow from the route. Yeah, no kidding. Whatever. I won't make a fuss when Nadine comes around. Maybe. But she's not some authority on your mom. Elias is bursting with excitement over the store. Hopefully these key rings will be a hit. Everyone has keys, right? Just a fact of life. <laughs> I insist that they're the best souvenirs. Hmm. Another accommodate might be nice. Hmm. Gotta be careful with it though. Cause it's only good if the other person previously played a double. Stranger. Slice an apple with a pocket knife. Perhaps you shouldn't talk to him. Oh, real quick. Mm, lock it. Can't do anything with it. Okay. Alright, let's give it a shot. Unusual visitor. Folks often pass through Bartow and stop at an attraction or two, but they never stick around. Yet, this stranger's been here for weeks, smoking cigarettes, spitting sunflower seeds, always in the outskirts. What goes through the crowd's mind when there's no mo food for miles? Excuse me. 
Ah, jeez. Yeah, no, I... I, I <laughs> you sure about that now? I'm afraid that just won't do. Nods at you knowingly. You're not sure what to make of the exchange. Oh, I didn't even stop to check what his, uh... What those purple ones were. Oh, but I can still get one. Direct and forceful. Huh. Ooh. Ooh, there's so few spots, but I want... Uh... Yeah, let's swap it for one of these circled and triangle ones. I really want to have like a good, good collection of them. Welcome home. When everything is unpacked, let's hang out, Elias. Cool. <laughs> you and Elias catch up, picking up right where you left off. Tell him about your first time in the quaint town of Aldhurst. He tells you how proud he is that the store's grand reopening was a success, praising you for stocking an impressive five items. Will it be enough for the caravan to stand up to the Rilkers? Oof. Everything's sold out. School teacher bought some matcha for days when her students are especially rowdy. Solar technician waxed poetic about the sun in Clifton while picking up his groceries. Ah, oh, told us about the road from home to Clifton. Interesting. The conspiracy theorist almost forgot his groceries while telling you about aliens in Pukumboro. <laughs> hey, a road straight to Pukumboro from here. Raving about its use of color, the solar technician bought the painting. A man wearing a hat and sunglasses bought a Bartow key ring, praising the artistry in a deep voice. Uh-huh. Is that so? Elias. <laughs> uh... Ooh! Oh, so many people. A flock of morning doves bunch up on a dormant power line, bending it beneath their weight. Little scuffles break out, miniature avian dramas, raining down feathers. The road calls. Huh. So we can't actually talk with this new person. We can't talk with this new person. Owner of the roadhouse, mom's old friend. Nadine's back. And... Alright. Well, I think that's enough for today's episode. I definitely like this game so far. It's really interesting. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, all the other usual YouTube garbage, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody!